Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In today's video we are going to discuss about what is bridge abutment and its types. Bridge abutment means As a component of a bridge, the abutment provides the vertical support to the bridge superstructure The bridge connects the bridge with the approach roadway and retains the roadway base materials from the bridge spans. Although there are numerous types of abutments and the abutments for the important bridges may be extremely complicated, the analysis principles and design methods are very similar. Unlike the bridge abutment, the earth retaining structures are mainly designed for sustaining lateral earth pressures. What is bridge abutment? A bridge abutment is a substructure that supports one terminus of the superstructure of a bridge and, at the same time, laterally supports the embankment which serves as an approach to the bridge. For a river bridge, the abutment also protects the embankment from scour of the stream. Bridge abutments can be made of masonry plain concrete or reinforced concrete. Five Types of Abutments The types of abutments are as follows. Closed abutment Stub or perched abutment Pedestal or spill through abutment Integral end bents Mechanically stabilized abutment Closed abutment A closed abutment is a full height wall with wing walls on each side that retains the full height of the approach embankment. This type of abutment minimizes the required span length of the bridge. However, there are several significant disadvantages, especially for high embankments and embankments on soft foundations. The abutment must be constructed before the adjacent embankment. Proper placement and compaction of backfill are difficult in the restricted area between the and the wing walls. If heavy equipment is used to compact the backfill, the wall may be pushed laterally and out of vertical alignment. The weight of the backfill will contribute to the compression of soft foundation soils and the post-construction settlement of the embankment and abutment. If the abutment is supported on piles, the compression of the foundation soil will produce down drag, which may overstress the piles. Closed abutments must be designed for the lateral earth pressures exerted by the full height of the approach embankment. Rankin earth pressure theory or equivalent fluid pressures conventionally are used. Because the lateral force and the overturning moment about the base of the wall are proportional to the square and the cube of the wall height, respectively, the structural requirements and cost of the wall increase rapidly with height. Stub or Perched Abutment a stub or perched abutment is a relatively short abutment that is constructed after the embankment has been completed. The embankment can be compacted without interference from the abutment, and, if necessary, the abutment construction can be delayed until the compression of the foundation soils caused by embankment loads is completed. Thus, post-construction settlements may be minimized. 
The abutment may be supported on spread footings in the embankment or on piles or drilled shafts constructed through the fill, as shown in the above figure. Because the stub abutment is relatively short and located in the upper part of the fill, the lateral earth pressure is relatively small in comparison to the pressure against a full height closed abutment. However, longer bridge spans may be required than for a full height abutment. Stub abutments also are used on the natural ground in cut slopes. Spread footing pile, or drilled shaft foundations may be used. Pedestal or spill through abutment Pedestal or spill through abutments are short stub type abutments supported on pedestals or columns extending to the natural ground. As with closed abutments, the abutment must be constructed before the approach embankment. Then the fill is placed simultaneously on both sides of the pedestals to minimize the unbalanced earth pressure and the lateral movement of the abutment. However, the fill around the pedestals is very difficult to compact properly. It also is very susceptible to erosion unless the end slope is protected with paving, riprap, etc. The lateral earth pressures against a spill through are less than for a full height closed abutment but greater than for a stub abutment. The weight of the fill that is placed after the construction of the abutment may cause compression of soft foundation soils and the same detrimental post-construction effects that have been described for closed abutments. Integral end bents Integral end bents are stub abutments that are rigidly connected to the superstructure without expansion joints. The connection is designed for full transfer of thermal stresses from the bridge deck to the abutment. The elimination of expansion joints with movable bearing systems for the deck is reported to reduce. Construction and maintenance costs Various designs are used by different state agencies, but almost all require steel age piles for support of integral abutments. A typical integral end bent is shown in the above figure. Integral abutments have been used in the United States for about 30 years. Early applications in Kansas, Missouri, Ohio, and Tennessee were restricted to relatively short bridges, generally less than 100 feet, 30 m, long. Today integral abutments are used in more than half of the states and the allowable lengths have increased significantly. Successful use of integral abutments for continuous steel and concrete bridges with lengths of 300 feet, 90 m, and 500 to 600 feet, 150 to 180 m, respectively. Almost all states that use integral abutments on piles indicate that they are performing well. Despite the apparent increasing popularity of integral abutments, some problems have been noted. These problems generally are related to cyclic lateral movements of the abutment in response to thermal stresses in the bridge deck. Cracking and buckling of approach pavements have been reported. The approach pavement design must include careful consideration of the thermal effects from integral abutments. 
because most backfill materials are not perfectly elastic. Cyclic abutment movements create voids between the backfill and the abutment, which permit erosion of the backfill and progressive deterioration and settlement of the backfill. Groundwater surface water that enters the backfill through a pavement cracks accelerates the erosion process. Mechanically stabilized abutment Mechanically stabilized walls, also have been used to support bridge abutments. The bridge seat and footing are supported directly on the reinforced backfill, as shown schematically in the above figure. The design concepts for the mechanically stabilized walls are applicable. They Abutment Loads increase the reinforcement requirements, especially in the upper part of the backfill, where the bridge loads are concentrated. Because mechanically stabilized abutments can tolerate large deformations, they often are an economical alternative to deep foundations or treatment of soft foundation soils. For example, in 1972 mechanically stabilized abutments were used for a bridge across the Moselle River at Thionville. France because large approach fill settlements were anticipated. Since the bridge was open to traffic, less than 0.5 inches 12 millimeters, of settlement has been observed. Because the abutment and approach fill settle as one unit, a differential settlement between the bridge deck and the approach roadway is virtually eliminated. The speed and case of construction have contributed to the widespread use of mechanically stabilized abutments in the United States. FAQ Concrete Abutment Abutments support the ends of the bridge and transfer the loads from the superstructure into the ground. The abutments also support the bearing devices and the back walls. Abutments are usually constructed of concrete. There are various types of abutments including wall, stub, integral, and semi-integral. Wing wall and bridge In a bridge, the wing walls are adjacent to the abutments and act as retaining walls. They are generally constructed of the same material as those of abutments. The wing walls can either be attached to the abutment or be independent of it. Bridge abutment types the four main type ESO abutments include the typical gravity abutment, the most common type of abutment that includes all of the components to hold the bridge's deck while including a retaining wall for the embankment, U abutment, which is a form of abutment that differs from a gravity abutment in the angle of the wing. How are bridge supports built in water? When bridges requiring piers are built over a body of water, foundations are made by sinking caissons into the riverbed and filling them with concrete. Next, the anchorages are built on both ends, usually of reinforced concrete with embedded steel eye bars to which the cables will be fastened. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.